So today, I think we are very, very close to finishing this current chapter that we are in. And uh, we're going to go to where Micah is currently. We just finished that one last mission where we rescued, uh, I believe it was Sean. And uh, Micah is actually right around the corner. So as you can see in the map, we've already pinned him down. We're going to go check out what he's got. And hopefully... Act like you never saw this. Hey, hey, isn't that? Arthur Morgan himself. Please, you what kind of day am I having? What? Yo! Hey, I just saved you. Don't you go rotting on me right now? All right. <laughs> what an interesting way to start the day. Don't you say? Well, this is law enforcement. It said that if any bodies are found, we can be in big trouble. So let's go ahead and loot the bodies first because we got to rob them. And then after we rob them, we'll dispose of them. Okay. How about we go over here and we throw them in the water? I, excuse me. I love how there is so much to do within the world of Red Dead 2. Like, it's not just the missions. There's so much going on. Well, catch you later, buddy. That's what happens for being a criminal. You come across another criminal and you die. You hear me? Look at that freaking huge horse. Beautiful horse. All right, let's loot the other one. And, uh, these guys are actually kind of broke. We can actually steal this, too. We can steal this and probably sell it. The stagecoach. I think we could do that. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, if you guys recall, we, we are able to get stolen stagecoaches and sell them now i don't necessarily think we have to really drop the bodies in the river for it to just drift away but i'm just trying to i'm trying to take the safest approach possible now let's see what do we have here is this a stagecoach that could be robbed i don't think so no, we, I don't think we could do anything with this. Okay, let me, uh... Let me take, uh, maybe a little bit of, uh... I would say... A little bit of something to help out my health, because we're not looking too good. Hmm, maybe one of these. Yes. I'm gonna take one of these. All right, back in business we go. All right, girl. Strawberry County bounty is thirty-five dollars. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. We have a jail right there. Okay. That's probably where Mike is being held up. If you guys recall last time, he went to jail. I think he killed somebody. Blessed are the meek. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. 
All right, maybe not. Maybe he wasn't in this jail. That was kind of rude of you. Yes, he was. Locate it and speak to Micah. Yes, he was in jail. All right, so we got to... friend had a good time did you <laughs> you going to get me out of here i ain't decided yet real funny oh i ain't joking cowpoke i heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months and now i got an opportunity to watch you be silenced well you gotta do something why i always looked up to you arthur well that's your first mistake Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Find a way to free Micah. All right. Breaking out of jail. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. <clears throat> what a modern disaster this is going to be. Just pull that lever. Come on. You know what? Let's do this. Uh, let's try this in first person mode. Let's do this. Hurry. There'll be more law here any minute. Grab the lever. Let's see how this works out in first person mode. Okay. Got to pull the lever now. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Come on. <laughs> oh. He wasn't no Driscoll. Oh, okay, whoa. Equip bandana. Uh, where's my bandana? My bandana, my... Oh, uh, I forgot what my bandana was. Uh, here it is. Equip the bandana. Oh, my God. We are heavily wanted here. Oh. This is amazing in first person. Oh, this is so cool. We're gonna do this whole mission in first person mode here, boys. Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, boys. Trust you. You have finally lost your damn mind. Oh my Yo Alright, so press I while aiming for dead eye. Whoa. Oh god. Yo, this is amazing. It feels so freaking good. I can see that. <laughs> Get wrecked. Coming for you. Right now. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house call. There's more of these morons. Dead eye level. This is amazing. It ain't skinny, Micah. It's northern. Oh. Oh, you always was a letdown <laughs> sack of crap. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Hello, Maddie. What the hell is he doing in there? 
had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. This guy's crazy, man. Come on now, Arthur. You got this, baby. So do we mount the horses and get the hell out of here? Let's clear them out. Up here. Come on. The law in this town's a damn joke. Hopefully I don't shoot the freaking horses. You have to shoot the entire town. All right. See the horses? Come on, follow me. Oh, I see the horses, all right. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here. Like all right, here we go. Yo. <laughs> this is insane. Evade the law by escaping right, from the red search horse. area. Already died. Never mind. Yo, this is hard with the horse. Dude, this is insane. Yeah. Holy crap. Are you still alive? Dude, it's so confusing with the horse. But so amazing. Holy crap. I got to hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got to be wild, all right. Wild. Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Yo, look at the sky. It's kind of wild. Whoa there. Holy crap. I think we finally lost them. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all the yeah, time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. <clears throat> you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch. Makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could trust Micah. He's always been one of those weird characters. <clears throat> you now own... The offhand holster. This allows you to carry two sidearms at once and dual wield. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so. <gasps> oh. 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 Yes. This is amazing. Additional lawmen are patrolling while the town is locked down. This is fucking cool, dude. Come on, quit 
keeping that about. I'll help you die. No. What you want. No. <laughs> let him walk over you like that. He's got no time to teach all you pecker woods respect. You better <laughs> back off me, asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh my god. This game is amazing. Anyways, let's uh let's go do what we got to do. Let's go to our mission here. The bounty is 300. Holy crap. We are not wanted in this side of town. Uh we're going to go to John Marston. Hmm. A mission with John Marston. Let's do this. Let's go, All right. Girl. We're going to get to him in first person and then we'll disable the first person. So So beautiful, dude. Yeah. Wait for the train? Yeah, right, we're good now. This game is just breathtaking, dude. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh oh, that man is being eaten by wolves alive. But unfortunately for him. Unfortunately for him, I got no time to be killing the wolves. I have to go meet my buddy John Marston. Oh, Easy, girl. Okay, girl. This is so freaking yeah. cool, man. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. We're going to get out of here now. <laughs> Passing by the border. Of unknown territory. The other side, we're wanted. Here, we're good. All right, my horse is very, very tired. All right, my horse's stamina is empty. Let's go to the horse and give this fucking horse something to eat because this man's going to pass out on us. There you go, girl. Horse bonding increased to a level three. Hey, what's wrong with this man? I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. Okay. Hmm. Just shoot the chains off, please. I'm done for otherwise. You know? Oh, 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 yes, yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. Hmm. Some of those fellows talked about this old crone up north of Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? <clears throat> well, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Home robbery. An old lady who lives alone north of Strawberry is rumored to be sitting on some valuables. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> Goddamn thieves. Look at that horse. Beautiful damn horse. Let's go, girl. That's my horse. Yep. Ah. Alright. Yeah. Let's go, girl. Saddle up, partner. You saw that move? That's the new move we learned. But now we can hold R1. Look at that. Oh. Oh, baby. That is so awesome. That's bonding level three. We just unlocked it. All right. All right. We're going to hitch the horse here. Hitch our horse. Good stuff, girl. Good stuff, girl. All right. Speedy. You've been a good horsey today. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. <laughs> Even you, Arthur. Even you. Here we go. 
But <laughs> I'm back home now. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Arthur. Sean oh, is Arthur. Back. Are you seem in a good mood? I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. It'll be nothing but the... All right, what? Game in the pot. So come on. Deadly Maguire's back. Let's have ourselves a party. And don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. All right, guys. Fun. You guys have a party over here. You can keep doing that. Where the hell's John Marston at, though? He's right here. Suddenly, you seem much better, Marston. Don't feel too sudden to me. Just when the drinks come out. Hey, Bill. Oh, the gang is celebrating the safe return of Sean and will be unavailable for other activities for a while. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. Oh yeah? So we can't do anything. So, what now? Come on. How about a That's so cool. Like they're actually busy, so you can't do anything. I know it sounds stupid, but it's cool, like He's been through a lot. I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. Oh yeah, I'm enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk. Start singing. That's amazing, dude. This game is flawless. Okay, um, let's see. What I guess since we are having a party, we're pretty much unavailable. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do Black Bell. I know it's far. I know it's far, but we're gonna go there. <laughs> My gang's having a party, so we can't really do any uh, activities right now. But me as the responsible individual of this gang. The right hand man to Dutch. I will continue my journey and go kill more people or do whatever the hell I gotta do. Rob them, slap them, I don't know. But we're on our way. Here we go. It's nice to uh, have my family and friends celebrate the return of a man that we saved. But uh, the show must go on. If you don't remember who Black Bell was, she was one of the uh, legendary gunslingers that we were meant to hunt down. In one of the previous episodes, the guy we met at the bar, he gave us the photograph of four legendary individuals, and she is one of them. So this is actually uncovering unknown territory as we speak right now. So, the Murphy Brood. You have discovered a gang camp. Enemy gang camps can be a good source of supplies. Let's go check that out real quick. Nice. Went for a swim. Hold on now. The question here is... Is there any gang members around here? Oh, snap. They're all dead. That is not good. Oh, that fart. What's that? Holy crap. I got a negative something for, like, dishonor or something. Alright, well, let's take whatever we can from this hair pomade. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna loot this stranger. There's, they got a lot of goodies here. Oh, you see, yeah, you do get negative. Uh, you do get negative ranking when 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 you steal from the gang members. I guess they take that as a dishonor or something. 
celery sticks. Anything else here? Honestly, these people were kind of broke. Really didn't have much. Well. At least it was worth the experience, right? Let's go, baby. Let's get up. There we go. This is crazy, man. It's like some abandoned woods or something. I wonder if I can fast travel on my way back because I'll tell you, <laughs> I'm really far away. St. Dennis, Lacay, Rhodes. Oh, it looks like this is where we, uh... Hmm. Interesting. Is this it? Is this where we have the legendary, uh, gunslinger? It's a bunch of mud. Oh, this is quite intriguing indeed. Uh oh. You there? Oh, hello. You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. <laughs> Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I'm not running from them neither. I'm fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. <coughs> Come here, let me take a look at it. If you guys don't remember, the guy was a journalist and he wanted the Wild West story. So that's why we gotta come get her. Now, whether we had to kill her or just have her give us the story, I don't know. See the aim? Same thing that was happening last time. I'm assuming that's probably my health. It has to be my health. Let me see. It's got to be my health. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here you go. 
goddamn scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. <clears throat> Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. Hell, <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. <laughs> uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Uh... There we go. How about this then? There we go. Got it. Okay, I got it. Then I guess I'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for twenty years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Black Bell, mission has been completed. Well, that was cool. It was a nice little sidetrack mission there we did. Now, the thing is, this, this scenery is absolutely breathtaking, but how the hell do we get back to where we came from? Which is all the way over here. Look at this. Oh, my dear Lord. John Marston. Can we fast travel over there? How do you fast travel in this game? So I just searched online if we do get fast travel here on Red Dead Redemption 2 and we do get it. But um, it's a couple of hours into the actual main story. So, and I think it comes with a couple of upgrades that you have to do to the camp. Unfortunately for us, we don't have that yet. So we kind of got to go. I don't even think I searched this lady's camp, yep. though. Let me see. Number one inside. To search for anything. Examine. A cigarette card. Oh, famous gunslinger card 10. Flip. Emmett Granger. Famous gunslinger card 10. Frank Heck, Otis Miller Boys, just pretty much Jim Boy Galloway. Okay, so it just has a bunch of names. Cool. Your dead eye has uh your dead eye bar has increased trick shots, hunting, crafting, and other survivalist related actors will increase it further. Alright. I'll just search this lady's house. See if we can take some goods, man. Assorted biscuits, God knows I need some goods. He was living like a damn pig. This is disgusting, to be honest. Picked up coffee. Brew it at your camp. Oh, fuck. I completely missed what I was saying. Alright. Well, I guess that's it for... What is that? Moonshine. Oh. Nice. I think that's pretty much it for this... Oh man, this sucks. We really have to take the horse and go all the way back to the camp now, don't we? Oh my god. This is gonna be a rough one here. This is a long way home, buddy. Long way home. 
Alright, so we've made it to the camp. Easy. Made it to the camp. Let's go find John Morrison now, shall we? Let's go find this son of a gun. See what he's got to well offer. Done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. Sadly. He's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. Our beard is growing, which is super cool. Morning. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Haha. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, Arthur. What do you want? John Marston. Uncle told me something about a train. Uh, what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train. Pain in the ears. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Mm -hmm. uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. <laughs> so we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. John Marson, so young, man. Holy crap. All right, so wagons that can be stolen for John are blipped with the wagon icon. Okay, so now we have these wagons over there. And then this is... uh. Michael Bell. All right, we'll do that after. Let's let's go steal these wagons that we got to do, right? Yeah, these missions are getting longer and longer in the sense that they're getting further away from the from the camp. Which I heard uh, I like that it's supposed to happen cuz then you unlock fast travel eventually. What is this? Charles, okay. Yeah, let's go get these wagons then. Our buddy John Marston. Yep. Alright, I guess we're going separate. I don't think he's going with us. Yep. Or is he? Out of the damn way! <laughs> All right, so we're going separate from John Marston. He's not coming with us. Yeah. I was kind of confused there. We are on our own path, our own journey. Crazy thing about this is we got to go back to that wanted territory, which is going to be kind of a pain in the anus. But we'll get there. We'll get both of these wagons, these oil wagons, and do what we got to do. It's just, it's, it's kind of weird, man. Like, playing as somebody that's not John Marston. I like Arthur. I've, 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 like, I've learned to like him. He's a good character. He's a really good character. Very great voice actor and everything. He's perfect for the game. But I, I, it still feels a little weird not being able to play as John Marston, you know? And it's not like he's there all the time. Like, he's not... He's just as equal and important as the other characters in the gang. Except Arthur. He's the most important because he's the main character. But it's kind of weird going from like Red Dead Redemption 2, which is all about John. 
now it's really not. Okay, are we in the right spot? Because I'm pretty sure... Yes, we are. So it's right here. Well, that's the wagon right there. Uh oh. Hey, you're trespassing here. Just calm down. This is your warden. Leave now. Sorry. I don't know why I find this so entertaining. Holy crap. That's right. your ass. Oh damn, so I really can't I really can't just go in there, huh? I have to sneak in there. I think, um, I think I'm gonna put on a bandana. Yeah, this is a good idea. That way we, we don't really get spotted. If you're around here, you should show your face. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay, well then how about we get this horse, uh, and get my bow and arrow. Um, there we go. Bow and arrow. I will probably hide right here. All right, now we can take this. Take the wagon. Oh no, take the wagon, take the wagon. What are you doing? Oh my God. They never even noticed. Oh dear God. They never noticed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> we did it! <laughs> we freaking did it! Nice! Now we just have to be careful we don't freaking get this wagon and drive, drive it off a cliff or something. How far is this destination point exactly? Hopefully not too far. Oh my goodness. I thought there was a guard in the entrance. Apparently, he didn't see us. Where the hell do we have to take this? Oh, look at that freaking empty piece of lake there. It's kind of crazy. So much nice little details in this map, huh? Beautiful. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, we don't want any of that business. Yep. Yep, we don't want any of that, believe me. I've fallen down places like that before, and it's not fun. Yeah. Not fun at all. Yeah. Come on, you damn horses. I'm gonna keep smacking you till you speed up. It's a bumpy road here. A little bit of a bumpy road. Okay, come on. We got this. Little by little. Oh, this is rough. All right, we're close by. Very close. Right here. Deliver right here. Let's go. All right. All right, so now what? I mean, now what? You brought it here. Okay, do I get back on it?
Yeah. Alright, so that's one wagon down. Tell John back at the camp that the wagon is in position. Alright, so we just completed that part of the mission. I think we're going to end this episode here. We've done a uh, pretty decent amount of things. I believe in the next episode we'll start off with uh, robbing the train with John Marston. And then do the other mission that we have at hand. And should be really interesting. I think this is where we will end this off for today. Just did a couple of nice deeds. Not really. Very criminal activities indeed. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave it a like.